Hi guys, today's video I would like to show you how to build full invoice automation system that does everything for you. Normal manual downloading, typing or reminders. This AI automation handles everything for you. Now let me show you how it works. First, the Gemini trigger checks if I have any new unread emails with an invoice. Then the if note filters the emails and makes sure it's really an invoice. Next, the file gets uploaded to Google Drive to keep a safe copy. At the same time, the file is sent to OCR space to read the text from the PDF. Then the merge note combines the text and the Google Drive link together. After that, the code note finds the invoice number, date, amount and due date. Next, all that data is saved into Google Sheets as a new row. Then a new Google Calendar event is created for a payment reminder. After that, Google Gemini writes a short message about the invoice. That message is sent to Slack, so my team knows about it right away. Finally, the automation replies to the sender and marks the email as read. The automation worked perfectly. And now we have our invoice in Google Sheet. We have invoice in Google Drive. We have new, new we have new event in Google Calendar. We have message on Slack, and our AI automation also sent a reply message. Here's the reply message. Okay, guys, now let me show you how to build a automation like this. First of all, we need Gmail as a trigger. In Gmail, all you need to do is set up credentials, and in event you want message received. In labels and ID, you need to add unread. And in search, I have simple text like this. You can simply copy and paste it into your own automation. And I also have download checked. This is very important. You need to have this checked because we want to have a binary output like this. See? Next, we have if note. In this note, I just checked if email has a PDF file, if it has invoice in header or text, and you don't need to type all this code. You don't need to write all this code. All you need to do is go to schema. And like in this case, we have, uh, we have JSON that text and you can simply you can simply drag and drop it right here all you need to do is make sure that you have a file you have invoice in header or text if if this note is true i have upload file to google drive and it looks like this You just want to take this file and put it into your Google Drive. I also have OCR space where I uh, analyze the image. Method is post. You need to use those. You need to use this URL. Authentication UI use none. Send body. Body content type. Form data. And as you can see. I have output like this, and here's my invoice. Next thing that we want to do is we want to merge link from Google Drive and the data from the invoice. In this note, all we need to do is do merge combine and choose merge by position. And this is our output. Next, we need to parse the data using JavaScript code. Of course, you don't need to write this code. All you need to do is use ChatGPT to generate code like this. Here's mine. And I have output like this. Well, I have invoice data, invoice number, due date, total amount, currency, billing address, and notes. And I also have Google Drive link. Next is Google Sheets note, where I add record to Google Sheets automatically. You need to set up credentials. Operation is up and row. Document, you need to write, you need to choose write document. 
and the right sheet. Mapping column mode is map each column manually. And all you need to do is when you have invoice number, you need to just take invoice number, drag and drop it right here. Same with date, total amount, billing address, do address notes, and, and with link to Google Drive. Output looks like this, and our invoice in Google Sheets looks like this. We have invoice number, date, total amount, billing address, do address, notes, and we also have link to Google Drive. Okay, let's get back to an item. Next, I create an event in Google Calendar. You need to set up credentials, of course. Resources event, operation create. You need to choose right calendar. Start, I have now, because I just wanted to show you in this video that it works. You, of course, you need to set up right date. Well, same with end. In the description, I have simple text, payment reminder for invoice, amount, do, and the link to Google Drive. And summary is a title of the event. And here I also have invoice and the number of the invoice. And also I set up a color in here. In Google Calendar, it looks like this. Invoice, number of the invoice, and the quick description. And here I have a link to Google Drive. Okay, now let's get back to Nathan. When I have event created, I reply to message. Resource message, operation reply, message ID. You need to take message ID from here and just drop it right here. Email type text, message. I have simple thank you for the invoice. And I also have unchecked append and item attribution. And when the message is sent, I mark the message as a red. Resource message operation mark as red, mark as red. Message ID, you also need to drop this message ID right here. Okay, next I have added fields. Invoice information, I take, take invoice information from here, from here. Invoice number, invoice number, same with invoice date, total amount, node billing address. And I have input like this, and with this input, I use basic LLM chain to generate a message that I sent on Slack. Now let me show you what I did in basic LLM chain. In basic LLM chain, defined below, Prompt user message. It's nothing complicated. Connected for the info context for the invoice, and as you can see, I get the message like this. And I also use Google Gemini as a brain of this basic OLM chain. Next, I have Slack. You also need to set up Slack credentials. Resources message operation sent. Send message to channel, channel by name, here's the name of the channel. Message type is simple text message. And message text, I just take this text from basic LLM and paste it right here. Now let me show you how it looks on Slack. On Slack, I have message like this. New invoice, invoice number, invoice date, amount, the most important information. Okay, guys, that's it for today. This is how it looks. Let me know what you think. 
If you want to contact with me, my email is in the description section. If you want to talk about automation and systems like this in your business. Thank you for today and see you in the next video.